Welcome back, Stasa23 here, and today is the day that no knife guy really wants to do. It is knife sale time. Um, blade shows a little bit over a week away. It's like a week and a half away, and I don't have any funds for a blade shows, so I have to sell some knives to have more content for you guys and girls. And uh, anybody who buys a knife, I really, really appreciate it. Don't feel obligated. These first few are more premium, higher end knives. They do have a few that are, you know, in the hundred plus dollar range at the end of this and if y'all like this hit the thumbs up button let me know if y'all want me to try to put together a more budget in one i'd have to probably bundle packages together because it just doesn't make sense to sell a 60 dollar knife for 40 bucks and then pay for shipping and it's, it's just not really worth it so y'all let me know that down in the comments and uh yeah let's pan on down and get this thing started Let's get the rules out of the way real quick. You have to be a U.S. resident or at least you have to have some a U.S. address for me to ship the knife. Uh, PayPal friends and family only. Also, do not put anything in the comments on PayPal about a knife at all. Uh, you must be 18 or get your parents to purchase the knife for you. Uh, first, to email me saying I'll take whatever knife it is. Gets the knife. I will look at timestamps from the emails and y'all definitely give me some time because I am busy. I have stuff going on. So I'm going to try to get back to y'all as soon as possible. Um, I'll probably be doing it very good in the first hour or two, but you know, we have stuff that goes on. Um, if you buy more than more than one knife, I will give you a discount, you know, that'll save me on shipping. So y'all will get the benefits of that. All sales are final. My email and all this information will be down in the description. Um, and I will do my very best best to keep the sales list uh, in the description updated once something sells all this will, will be to get new knives for the channel so uh, first up we had the vohemant knives mongrel and this is the v1 the v2s are in s45 vn i think it is this particular one is in cpm 3v so if you missed out on these and you wanted one, these uh, I went for $500. I'm asking $320. And I don't think you'll better beat my prices on all these knives. I, I'm slashing them. They're all pretty much about 30% off or more. So uh, you got a nice clip point blade with a satin finish. These are USA made by Medford Knives, Farvo Human Knives. You got titanium frame bronze uh like faux bolster here titanium pocket clip and these are on bearings uh pretty pretty smooth action nice flipping action your lock up on this one's about 40 percent and uh you're perfectly centered nice snappy action pretty cool knife just wasn't really my style number two we have a medford slim praetorian this one's an S35VN, uh, just a blasted stone wash titanium frame, the flame titanium pocket clip. This one is on bearings. It's got a nice smooth action. Still has the factory edge and it is still sharp. No scratches that I'm aware of. Pretty much all these knives are in pretty much like new condition. I will let you know if they're, you know, if not, if it's been sharpened or not. But that's the next one. This particular one goes for $525. I'm asking $350. For three, we have the Brian Brown Raptor. This one is a V1, I think it is, an M390. It's got nice action on bearings. Beautiful blade. Love that blade shape. Still got the factory edge on it. This one has, I think it's just a, like a, Looks like a light bronze here and then like a blasted bronze on the pivot collar. I don't have any, I didn't really even carry this one much. It just didn't, bond, I didn't bond with it and I have a lot of knives. So <laughs> this particular one may have skiff bearings in it. Um, if you like, you know, the regular bearings put back in it, I will. I'll, I'll do one or the other. I'm not going to give you both but if you want the skiffs in it i will leave it if not i'll put the regular bearings back in it these go for 365 i'm asking 250. next up we have the les george vecp v3 flipper um this one never carried because i ended up buying the thumb stud version and i preferred the thumb stud version over this one you can see no marks at all now the only thing about this one and the price will kind of dictate that 
I don't know if you'll see this, and he, he might even fix this. This is how it came to me. You see that light spot? I guess it's just where the stone washing didn't really get it. It's kind of like a polish spot right there. You can only see it in certain lights. You know, whenever I'm like turning it like this, it's just because I got my studio light shining on it. It's, it's easier to see. There you go. Right there. It's it's I don't, it's just a blend from the factory. This one I also think has skiff bearings in it, but I can definitely put the regular one. This one also has, I'm pretty sure I skiff bearings in it, but if you want the stainless steel bearings that come with it, I can also uh, install those back. 204P, this is a mid-tech, USA made, love the VECP. Um, pretty smooth action, perfectly centered. This one, you can light switch it, but I find that the push button, it comes out a lot faster um, on bearings. And I, don't, I couldn't find any of these available right now. So, you know, this one's probably, I'm sure this one's going to go fast because I had asked if anybody wants to buy this before. And I think somebody did, but it went to my junk mail and I didn't find it till way later. So that person's watching. Hopefully you can get this one if you want it. Uh, these go for 450 brand new. I'm asking 350 bucks for this. <laughs> anybody who knows about the VCP knows that's a great deal. I just took off that that much money just because of that little thing because this thing's in perfect condition still has a factory edge on it less charge vcp v3 flipper i guess it'll probably go quick as well and i don't really want to sell it but i need the funds this right here is the vero engineering impulse m390 steel it's got that back flipper or the regular flipper tanto never carried never used beautiful tanto so i got the black washed blade the uh, tumbled titanium scales with the black hardware. This one is number 671. It has the, the back little window to flip it. Uh, nice snappy action on this one, comfortable. This one is perfectly centered. And uh, these go for 360 brand new and these are not available. I don't even know if he's gonna do another one of these. I'm asking 275. You won't find that anywhere else. 275. Another one that I didn't really want to let go is the Surge Surge Knife Co. Trisect and M390. Uh, this one never carried, never used. Um, it's a it's a little bit bigger than I than I really like to carry. This one has an M390 blade. I think these were made by Best Tech for them. Love this polished um, flame anodized on both sides. It looks sick. It's got very, very snappy action, very smooth, comfortable. It's a really cool knife. I love Serge Mantinko's stuff. It's like that rustic, futuristic looking designs. Uh, this one right here, I, I paid, I think, 400 or maybe 400 and some change. And I saw you, these are available on, like, I think, uh, one of the reseller sites for 390 or something like that. And I'm asking 300, 300 I had to beat their price. So if you wanted one of these, this is probably going to be your best chance to get one. These are discontinued. I don't know if he's going to be making them again, but uh, yeah. The CKF Custom Knife Factory Tiger. This is a got Gafco Michael Gafco collaboration. This is number 173. I'm I think the second owner of this one. Um, I don't know if they did the Anno or not. Beautifully contoured titanium scales. Um, so you have purple scales and a blue anodized milled titanium clip. Um, this one has such a beautiful, wicked M390 blade. Just look at that. Oh, that's wicked. Really don't want to let this one go, but I don't carry it as much, so I, I can part with it, I guess. Beautiful, beautiful, and anybody who owns CKF knows how, look at that. <laughs> it's a guillotine. Now this one has like, it's it's a weird flipping action because you got this top thing on it and you push it down. And it's not the snappiest. This is, it comes out fast, but you know, it's not the snappiest. It's, it's smooth, comfortable in hand. Uh, these went for, I think, around $420. I'm asking $275 for it, $275. All right, now I won't be sad if this one doesn't sell. I'm just gonna be honest. I love the knife, but I I'm not the biggest front flipper fan. This is a Trevor Burger Custom EXKFL. 
Now, if you're not into the customs or higher end knives, this one's probably definitely not going to be for you. It's got one of the nicest front flipping actions. It's got a beautiful, beautiful hand rub satin finish blade that has never cut anything. Just because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this one. That's how, that's how I do. Um, it's got blue anodized milled titanium pocket clip and pivot collar. And I think this is some vintage micarta in here. I I love the milled lines on the titanium frame, nice and contoured, blue anodized backspacer, titanium backspacer, and the uh, milled lines on the lock side, absolutely stunning. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure the blade steel, it might be M390, if I, if I find it uh, before I post this, I'll put it up here, or if you're interested, I will uh, let you know that in the uh, emails. Uh, this one right here, I paid around $1,200, and I probably overpaid at the time, uh, but I, I wanted it that bad. So I'm going to be charging $800 for this one. Um, I couldn't find any of these available at the moment, so if you wanted, ever wanted one of these, now's your chance. I'm not going to budge on that price because I, if, if I can't get that, at least that, I'm just going to keep it. Now for a little bit more affordable knives, this is the Kubi Monster Dog. Beautiful action on this one. Uh, M390 blade, uh, titanium, it's uh, contour titanium scales, smooth scales, very, very comfortable ergos. Uh, nice lock up. Look how smooth this thing is. Oop. Oversized thumb studs. Nice ramp right there to put your finger. Mill titanium pocket clip. These go for $176. I'm asking $100. Next up, we have the QSP and Traditional Pocket Knives Exclusive uh, XL Penguin. This one has the Jig Titanium Scales that are absolutely stunning. The only reason I'm letting this one go is because I have the black one that I carry a little bit more. This one has beautiful action M390 blade with a satin finish on it. Nice and uh, smooth on the closure. Perfectly centered blade, as you can see there, mill titanium pocket clip. This one's an excellent example. Nice flipping action. Yeah, these are excellent. And I think these might be out of stock right now. They go for $195. I'm only asking $120. We have the Spyderco Sage 1 in Maximet. Um, I absolutely love the Sage. I won't be disappointed if this one doesn't go either. I, I love this one. This is an excellent, excellent knife right here. Very lightweight. Uh, like that battle gray G10 with the peel ply finish, blasted wire pocket clip, nice action, nice reverse flick action, nice choke up on it. And like I said, it's in Magna Cut. I don't think I've ever cut anything with this one either. And the only reason for it, as you can see, there's nothing on it. There's, I need to wipe that off, but um, no patina yet. I don't, I don't think that's just, yeah, no patina. These go. Brand new for $266, and this thing's pretty much like new in box. I'm asking $180. Next up, we have the Concept Predatout. Excellent knife, S35VN. I did sharpen it. Yeah, I did sharpen this one, so it's not the factory edge anymore. As you can see, it's still, it's very sharp still. Black washed blade, black washed scales. This one has a beautiful action as well. Snappy on the flipper and snappy on the thumb stud. Um, I may, I'm not sure. I may only have the pouch for this one. I'll have to check. If I have the box, I will let you know that. But the price is definitely indicative of that. These go for $189. I'm asking $110. Next one is the Tools for Gents. Rascal forgot the collaborator. This particular one is no longer in stock. It's in that blue think Arctic Storm, Fat Carbon, beautiful contouring on here. This is cross cut, they said. Uh, fat Carbon, which it looks absolutely yummy. Mill Titanium Pocket Clip, nowhere on that clip. It's a front flipper. Uh, wait, let me see. Yeah, front flipper. Tanto. No wear marks on it. M390 Blade, Tools for Gents logo. And this is the other, this is the person that designed it. Like I said, this particular one is no longer in stock. Um, these went for $329. I'm asking $200. Perfectly centered. Next up, we have the Alliance Designs Chisel. It's a Jeremy Marsh collaboration. 
I love the overall lines. I love the deep hollow grind on it. Uh, this These have M390 blade steel. And only thing I don't love is the tip down pocket clip. But it's, it's a nice looking clip and it's blind screwed. Titanium anodized liners. And they got that raised backspacer. Beautiful looking knife. Comfortable in hand. And this thing is uh, like butter. Whenever you do a slow roll on it, it's so smooth. Reverse flick, nice, nice carbon fiber overlay there. These went for $340. It could be yours for $150. All right, we have a Wii prototype. <laughs> this is the Wii Knives Press Check. I'm the second owner of this one. Um, this is a prototype from Blade Show whenever they first released. This is a uh, Alishwitz design. You can see right there, prototype. The action on this thing is phenomenal. This is the drop point or harpoon drop point blade. The original owner sharpened it and put like a semi mirror polish on it. It's still ridiculously sharp. I stropped it up the other day. 20 CV blade steel. This one right here goes for $249. $150 it'll be yours. $150. This one is in mint mint condition. This is the Urban EDC Nessie in M390. You have that Nesmuk style blade. Nice. Uh, I think these were made by Riot. Yeah, comfortable in hand. With the green canvas micarta scale. And you have the, I think it's black micarta backspacer. Titanium frame. This thing is nice and smooth, as you can see. Perfectly centered. Nice action. These go for 239 I'm asking 150 for it. 150 Next up, we have the Miguron AM8 Flix. A beautiful looking knife. A very, very comfortable knife in hand. Uh, this one has a little bit more of a stouter detent. It's got that window for the reverse flick, which is, is pretty easy. But the front flipping action, I'm not the best at front, flip, front flippers and with the detent like it is. Uh, that's why I'm letting this one go. M390 steel. And these go for $195. I'm asking $110 for it. $110. I did. I, wait, let me see. Yeah, I did sharpen this one up. And I think, yeah, it's still, I'll, I'll strop it up if you if you decide to take this one. Mill titanium pocket clip. Uh, that, like, crushed or marble carbon fiber, whatever, whatever they're calling it. Beautiful bolster there. Beautiful looking knife, comfortable in hand. That is the AM8 Flix. This one you're going to get a lot for your money. And this is the Demco 8020.5. This particular one is in AUS 10 and it comes with a set of uh, carbonized. This is the, the maker of these uh, fragged micart. These are fragged tarot tough scales. They feel excellent. Did a great job. Um, Stonewash blade. Beautiful action on this. Now, I did sharpen it up, uh, and this thing is wicked, wicked sharp. Wicked sharp. I have not used it since I've, I've, I've uh, sharpened it. It also will come with a Casey Lynch deep carry pocket clip. I think I still have the regular one if you're wanting that, and I think I still have the regular plastic scales. I don't know why you'd want that. Whoever buys this one <laughs> will also get a drop point blade. It should fit with this one, I think. Um... Because I have, I have a spare uh, blade that I use the frame for uh, my custom reblade. So I will send that with this one as well. And if I have, I think I may have another scale also. Uh, I think a burlap my card scale that I could send also. And just a knife. These go for $149. I'm letting all this go with the other blade and the scales and the pocket clip for 125 bucks. <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not gonna better find anything better than that. I promise you. We have another spot of code. We have the PM2 in Crewwear and Micarta. The blade is perfectly centered. Um, let me wipe the blade off. I don't think there's any marks on the blade. The reason why I'm letting this one go is because I. I have the 10V uh, power. You can see this absolutely no marks on the blade. It still has a factory edge, crew wear. Um, 
I have the 10V one that gets carried way more than this one. So, yeah. Right now, there's no side-to-side -side play. But, of course, if you like it super drop, you know, free, you, you probably need to loosen the pivot some. And you might get a little bit of side-to-side. -side. <laughs> That's how all my pairs are. Um, yeah. So, this one goes for... $203 brand new. I'm asking $140. $140 and it's in like new condition. <laughs> Next up we have the Concept Integra. This one has the Lightning Anno, which they did a pretty darn good job on it. This side I'll probably have to wipe it up because it's got some smudges there. If you, if you do buy this and you ever get smudges, you can wipe it with a microfiber cloth or some rubbing alcohol or Windex and it'll pop right back out. The blade on this one is not perfectly centered. It's off to the right a little bit, but definitely not rubbing, and the price will be indicative of that. Beautiful flipping action. Beautiful raindrop Damascus blade that still has the factory edge on it. It's uh, very smooth on the closure. Comfortable in hand. This one goes for $220, brand new. I'm asking $100. $100 bucks will get it for you. Next up, we have the Concept Nazca. Uh, this one is in like new condition. It's titanium frame with the black coated and the blue hardware. This one is perfectly centered. Blue titanium pocket clip. Front flipper design. This is a nice full size EDC. Beautiful clip point. S35 VN blade. No markings. Still has a factory edge. Um... This one has a, a nice a drop shut action as well. This one goes for 170 uh, new. I'm asking 100 for this one as well. 100 for this one. Last but certainly not least, we have the Miguron and AM8 Elgar. This one is the one that has that beautiful texture on the titanium, contour titanium scales, mill titanium pocket clip, titanium thumb studs. It's got beautiful action. Um, I think, yeah. I did sharpen this one. Whew. Yeah, nice and sharp. This particular one is in CPM S90V steel. It's a straight back design, comfortable in hand. I reviewed this one this year. Uh, you can reverse flick it from the blade hole if you'd like. Nice and smooth, uh, nice and centered. Very, very comfortable in hand. These go for 189 brand new. I'm asking for this one, 120 bucks with S90V steel. Come on. And mill titanium scales with that texture. Yummy. So there you go. Hopefully you see something you like. Um, if, <coughs> depending on how this sale does um, and how long it takes me, I will probably do a, either a second one on here if y'all would like, or I may bring the sec the, the next sale on Instagram. Um, <laughs> if I have the time, I will try to do a sale for, you know, sub $100 knives. Those, I just have to usually bundle them because it doesn't really make sense as far as shipping go. By the time I ship it, didn't really make anything off of it. <laughs> to actually, you know, put towards new knives. So we'll see if I could find something. If y'all would like me to try to bundle some more affordable knives, you know, like three for a hundred or something like that, y'all let me know. I could try to put something together like that. So if you have any questions about these, you can leave it, but I'm not going to really be paying attention to the comments that much on this video because I'm going to be busy with emails. I already know how this goes. And yeah, hope everybody has an awesome day. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this one and hit the like button if you want me to do uh, another sale video and uh, especially if you want me to do one more budget friendly stuff. All right, guys and girls, I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.